Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello. Very, very quick video. Hopefully this should be, because I haven't got much time. A um, couple of things I just wanted to discuss. Uh, the first thing is tonight I'm going to be streaming at uh, 8 o'clock, so just over an hour from now. Well, hour from now as of recording this, actually. It'll probably be about an hour by the time this goes up. Um, at 8 o'clock UK time, I'm going to be streaming. It's, I'm going to be playing a game called Elex, which is a spiritual successor to the gothic series i think basically it's it's a game it's an open world rpg made by the original creators of of gothic which is a open world rpg from way 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 back in the day um which was a pretty good game and i enjoyed it i enjoyed it a lot unfortunately it doesn't work on my computer now anymore um for some reason this pc just doesn't agree with it even with all the community patches and stuff um but i picked up elex because it came out very recently and slipped entirely under the radar, pretty much, because the port game did, just does not have any publicity out there whatsoever. It just sort of appeared on Steam, and uh, and it's there, and it exists. And uh, But I've played a little little bit of it, and so far it seems pretty good. But basically, I'm going to start a new game on stream uh, tonight and uh, play a bit of it and see what we think. Uh, hopefully it should be good. I, I, I like the look of it so far, anyway. But um, there's that. Uh, in addition to that, and other streaming-related news... Um, Basically, uh, on on Saturdays, this might be changing to Fridays in the in the near sort of near near future actually. But for the moment, on Saturdays, as many of you will be aware, I stream Baldur's Gate two. Um, I have decided to add another game to the Saturday stream. Basically, um, so instead of just streaming Baldur's Gate two, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be streaming like an hour and a half to two hours of Baldur's Gate two, followed by an hour and a half to two hours of Battlefleet Gothic Armada. If you don't know what Battlefleet Gothic Armada is, it is a it's a space strategy game with spaceships, and it's based on a tabletop game made by Games Workshop called Battlefleet Gothic, which is set in the 40k universe and is about starships. Basically, it's starship combat in the 40k universe, and it's frankly just a really really good game, and I really like it. It's one of my favorite 40k games ever. It, it nails, I think, more than any other game, even Dawn of War the 40k atmosphere and art style and and stuff like that it's just really really good it's got a great single player campaign with with these awesome cut scenes and a sort of total war style campaign map but with a twist because it's kind of in reverse instead of instead of conquering the map you actually start out controlling the entire map and are gradually pushed back by the invading aliens and and chaos fleets and stuff like that um and it's it's really good it's just really really good we actually played it last week on stream and people seem to really really get a kick out of it um so what i've decided to do is partly because the audio is a bit screwed up for the stream so i couldn't export it but also because i just wanted to announce it on here first since i kind of want to do that for an ongoing stream series um yeah i'm going to be restarting the campaign that we started last week and i'm going to be playing that on saturday after Baldur's gate 2 so if you're interested please do drop by on a Saturday. We'll start streaming Baldur's Gate 2 at 8 o'clock on the Saturday as usual and then about an hour, a couple of hours later um, we'll be doing Battlefleet Gothic later in the evening. So that's what's going to be happening. Hopefully it should be fun as, as ever the VODs will be uploaded to YouTube since if it's a streaming series generally speaking I will upload the VODs to YouTube otherwise I, I tend not to just because I don't want to spam VODs all the time. Um, but hopefully people should enjoy that because I think it's an awesome game and I just had so much fun playing it last week actually uh, with the chat and everything so that's a thing so Elex tonight on Saturday Baldur's Gate and Battlefleet Gothic Armada and in addition to that Morrowind related news so on Wednesday or by Wednesday at least I need to have a new episode of Morrowind recorded now you will recall if you're keeping up to date with the series uh, that we're pretty much literally just about to join House Telvani. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because there is a mod for Morrowind called Rise of House Telvani, and basically what it does is it, it get, adds a load of content to the House Telvani questline that follows on after you have become the Archmage, essentially, and allows you to expand House Telvani and do stuff, um, and, you know, try and sort of conquer half of Vardenfell and that sort of thing. It's quite... An interesting concept. Now, the problem is, I originally was planning to, to do it in the, in the LP. However, I was put off by a couple of things, including the fact that some people said it was kind of buggy. 
and also some people said that it it, it, it was it had had kind of quite a lot of very poorly written characters and stuff in it and that kind of really soured me on it a little bit but i just i still can't quite make up my mind so basically i, I need i kind of need to do make this decision before we join house telvani because otherwise we might have save game related issues if you see what i mean now, because I'm I am cautious about adding big mods like this to it, because obviously we've been burned in the past when it comes to modding Elder Scrolls games. Cough, oblivion, oblivion, cough. Um, but if it is as good as it says it is, and it would definitely fit our character in the LP to actually do the stuff that the mod says you can do in it, it would potentially be quite good. It's just the things I've heard about it put me off a little bit. So basically, what I'm saying is. If there's any of you watching here who have experience with the mod, would you recommend I add it to the Let's Play? Basically, I'm I'm asking you viewers on YouTube, what do you think? Should I add it to the Let's Play, or should I just not bother? Now, bearing in mind, there is I, I am going to have a lot of additional Altelvani content anyway in the form of the Tamriel rebuilt stuff. Um, so lots of mainland house Telvani kind of kind of stuff, but this would be for sort of the Vardenfell side of things, basically. So leave your opinions below whether or not you think it's worth bothering with and I will take that on board and by Wednesday I will have obviously made a decision. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that's that was it basically for this video. I kept it um, under 10 minutes, which is good. So yeah, streaming Elex tonight. On Saturday we'll be doing Baldur's Gate 2 and Battlefleet Gothic. And yes, let me know about Rise of House, House Telvani. Why is that difficult to pronounce? I don't, I don't know. Leave, leave your opinions about that below. Um, please leave an opinion only if you've actually played the mod, because uh, otherwise it's, I mean, you know, like I do appreciate the feedback, but uh, otherwise your, your your feedback's a little bit useless if you not actually have, don't actually have any experience with the mod. You know, it's, 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 it's kind of, it's, it's the equivalent of the teacher asking a question in class and someone putting their hand up and saying, and then, and then saying, I don't know the answer. So, you know, I appreciate you mean well, but please, if it could, we could, keep this to people who actually have experience with the mod let me know whether it's worth it or not that would be more much 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 more helpful but anyway so uh those that's that was it uh i'll see you for the next video which will be tomorrow and on wednesday and i will see you tonight if you happen to come by for the stream um otherwise toodaloo have a nice day all that good stuff i'll see you soon